Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shanice, and welcome back to Simply Nikwa. So, today I have an awesome book review for you guys to listen and to hear my opinion about, and I'm so excited to tell you more about this book. And so, let's go ahead and continue on with that. But before we do that, go ahead down below and subscribe to my channel, and also give this video a like, because you're going to like the book I'm going to tell you about. So, other than that, let's get started with this video. With this book review for you guys, I have the next book in the Hot Jocks series. So I'm so excited to tell you more about this book. I'm so excited to have read another book in the Hot Jocks series. The Hot Jocks series is one of my favorite book series um, at the moment and I love it and crave it so much. So this book in the Hot Jocks series I am going to talk to you guys about is called Wild For You and it's by Kendall Ryan. Wild For You is the sixth book. So the first one is Playing For Keeps with Justin and Lee. And then there's All the Way with Owen and Becca. And then there was a Trying to Score with Teddy King and Sarah. Then there was Crossing the Line with Asher and Bailey. And then there was Down and Dirty with Landon and Aubrey. And then now it is Wild for You with Grant and Anna. So I have read all the rest of the books so I have a good mind of what these books are about and I have a good relationship with all the books. So let me tell you more about Wild for You. So in Wild for You the two main characters is Grant and Anna. Grant is the team captain of the Icehawks hockey team. Within the other books he's not mentioned as much and you can tell he's more guarded especially with getting to know his um other teammates in a personal level and um, compared to the other teammates that if you have read the other books you will get that feeling from that and he's more um, uh, like guarded with the information he says to everyone and just keeps himself guarded away from others. Anna was in a relationship with another player on the hockey team um, and so she was already known with uh, the hockey team crew like Justin and Elise and Owen and Becca, Teddy, King and Sarah, Asher and Bailey and Landon and Aubrey. Like she was already amongst everyone with the relationships that she was in. But the relationship has gotten really hairy and um, uh, tricky for her. So at the time Grant was her um, knight, knight in shiny armor, someone that she can lean on and um, confined into and uh, he made her feel protected and safe and that that's what she really needed and so going through that this book is about how she got through this relationship that she had to get through that really hairy situation that how um, Grant was there to help her and to let her feel safe and comfortable and to be her own person and even though she is very independent and strong-minded to who she is um, when she was in that last relationship she was in it made her feel like she was um, not important or downgraded or made her feel like everything she does wasn't her best and wasn't right so Grant allowed her to be more of herself so this book really showed how she grew and how they grew together and be more as one. Um, and I just I just really love this book. Every book in the Hot Jack series has a different vibe and I just love it. It's like everyone is not like the same story obviously because it's different characters but it's just the same setting um, but it's every story is so good on its own. So that's kind of basically what it's about. I know it's very vague. I don't want to scratch any more surface of what it's about then I might will tell a little bit more information than I want to but I really want you to pick this book up because it's a really really good especially if you have read the other books in the Hot Chuck series you're gonna really love this one as well like each each of the books are amazing on their own. Reading this book, and I'm glad that Kendall Ryan made Grant to have his own story as well. And let me get more connected with Grant and more connected with his story and him and who he is because you don't really get much information from the other books like you do with the other characters and I just really love that and I love how he's more intertwined now. Each book in this series makes you feel a different way about 
the characters and the situation that they're going through in the book and it just it's really awesome how Kendall Ryan writes for each book uh, of the Hot Drug series because you just feel so differently um, when you read them and when you finish them and how also you can connect with each book in a different way as well so that's really awesome. This book was so heartwarming and intriguing to read since the first page that on the first word that you read to all the way to the end like I was so hooked when reading and I didn't want to stop like I I waited till today to read the last little epilogue part because I didn't want this book to end when I could have just read it last night like I loved this book and I love Grant's story and how how he is with Anna and how they grew together this book in particular has 28 chapters with the epilogue so I say it's 29 chapters easy to read you like fly through these chapters fly through these pages when reading it because it doesn't take you long to read this book because you're gonna fly through it because you want to keep reading it you want to know what happened in their story I really love the ending of this book and to see where Anna and Grant is now at the end of the book and it just makes me happy to see where they are. If you haven't read any of the other books in the, the Hot Drug series and this is the first book that you are intrigued to read, go ahead and pick it up today because it comes out today. But it's also a standalone novel so you don't have to read the other books to know who Grant or who Anna is or get to know their story because it's a standalone book because their beginning, middle, and end of their story is in this book. So that's great. But it's also good to read the other books. Even though they're all standalone books, you kind of get like an itch of what the other characters are, are about. If you read this one book first, go ahead and read the other ones because you're going to want to learn about all the other hot jocks. So technically you don't have to read it in a uh, order, particular order. Um, you can read it however you want but I say you should read Playing for Keeps first with Justin Elise and then going to All the Way with Owen and Becca and then trying to score with Teddy King and Sarah and then crossing the line with Asher and Bailey and then Down and Dirty with Landon and Aubrey. I believe reading this series in that particular order you get like a feel of all the characters all along the way and to me I just feel like that's the order that's how it's supposed to be because you get a vibe of the other characters as well as you go so take it how you want but yeah that's what I think on that, on that two cents but you don't have to do that. In this book, it has a playlist as well. Like all the rest of the Hot Jack series, it has a lovely playlist that you can go and listen to all the music to get the vibe of the book. And I really, really, really like that aspect. This time, I'm going to tell you about one or two songs that are in the playlist. But there's about nine songs, so I advise you to get this book so you can see what the other music that she has picked for this book. But um, there is like five on fire by Sam Smith and there is new vibe who Dis by Madison Mars featuring Little League that's only two of the songs of the nine that I randomly picked to mention about the playlist so the songs that Ken Ryan picks for each book are really awesome I really like to go back and listen to them and it's really really awesome I can't wait to read the last and final book in the hot Jack series that comes out out June 9th and this is what the the cover looks like and just so you have a little peeky peeky like I said this book is available for you to get right now today so after you finish watching this video go ahead and pick it up and read it and love it just as much as I am I am so excited for you guys to do so and if you haven't read a book in hot jock series what are you doing girl or boy and uh, what are you doing like go ahead and read it and pick it up and you're going to fall in love with Grant and Anna so without saying too much else and going into super detail I'm gonna end the video now um, and I hope you do pick up this book I recommend it pick it up it's all so good so thank you so much for watching and I really do hope that you get this book and read it and other than that go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button as well especially if you're gonna go ahead and get this book yourself but other than that i catch you back next week with something cool and awesome but i hope you get this book okay i'm ready for you to get it bye